Hey guys, how's it going? Like Butter here, and as you can hear in my voice, I am so sick. Uh, I'm making this video today on the 6th of January, and for about the last three days, I've been down and out, totally just knocked out up in the bed. Um, I visited back in Massachusetts for the holidays, and when I came home a couple days later, um, I got really sick, and I think I might have a sinus infection. But uh, I was feeling a little bit better today, despite it sounding like it in my voice. Uh, but I wanted to bring you guys something really cool. Um, I had Jack Felling reach out to me uh, with a promotional opportunity uh, for the for this event that's coming up for the end of Season 1. I'm going to read you guys the details here in a second. And uh, during the broadcast, they're going to be giving out this weapon skin, this community skin called Lit. Uh, if you don't know what Lit is, it's kind of this saying or, or uh, phrase that the community community uses when something is is exciting or you know just crazy you know oh that's lit I don't know I, I think it's really cool the weapon skin looks amazing it's it looks like it's kind of got like a sun like lit like it's light at like like light rays coming from it uh, I think it looks cool um, you can see it here on my shotgun now this gameplay was in uh, like interesting because I started off the game a little bit like shaky I was playing this yesterday when I was sick like I was I was kind of feeling a little bit better to, uh, yesterday and then today I might stream later I don't know uh, as you can hear my voice like I'm still trying to get over this but um <clears throat> I do feel a lot better despite having a pretty bad headache. Uh, but towards the end of this game, you guys are seeing me absolutely go off with the sniper. And I know you guys really like it when that happens. I think I end up with like, I get like, I don't know, 15 headshots this game. Something like that, pretty good. Uh, so let me read you guys the details. Um, so this Sunday, January 10th, is the grand finals for season one, live from California. It's at 11 a.m. Pacific time, which is obviously 2 p.m. Uh, Eastern. And during the broadcast, they're going to be giving out the lit weapon skin. And uh, this is for the, let me see, I think it's the ESL finals. I haven't been keeping up too much with gears. I should be keeping up a lot more. Let me look here. I'm about to look it up. <clears throat> okay, so it looks like the it's the end of season one for ESL. So I'm assuming like we're gonna start getting into some Gears 4 stuff, which is really exciting. And I think that the Ultimate Edition was really good for multiple reasons. Uh, one. It got to hold people over to the next Gears game. It's doing its job. I mean, it's gotten a lot of... It's gotten kind of dull for people, but that's kind of expected with a game that's, you know, we've played for 10 years. Uh, although the remake is absolutely amazing. I really hope the Sniper in Gears 4 is much like the one in this game. Um, so it is the... Uh, season. Yeah, it's the Season 1 Finals for ESL, uh, you know, the Pro League. So this is gonna, this is the end of the first season, now uh, which is interesting because it just started in August, which when the game came out. <clears throat> but I think they're gonna start tapping in to some Gears of War four stuff. Uh, I think they're probably gonna do season two of Ultimate Edition, and then it will probably transition into Gears of War four, uh, which is amazing. You know, I, I really need to catch up on my my you know my ESL. I haven't been watching it too often. I think it's just the time of day that it's in. Um, I'm usually kind of busy. I'm usually streaming myself or, or doing other stuff, but uh, Hopefully you guys can stop into the stream the link is in the description twitch.tv slash gears of war You guys are interested in watching uh, the event this Sunday the skin will be available to everyone um, All you have to do is be in the stream to figure out the details on how to unlock the weapon skin It'll be completely free and uh, it will be open to everyone So all you gotta do is tune in on Sunday link is in the description and uh, let me know what you guys think of the weapon skin totally didn't downplow that guy you guys it was an illusion you guys did not see that all right i was sick i was cranky this guy grabbed sniper and ran to hammer burst tower which is like a pet peeve of mine i hate when people do that people used to do that in gears of war 3 all the freaking time and it just made me want to rage um also i transitioned in the middle of this video just because like i was watching this this vine i don't like i might Maybe I'll link it in the, in the description. Maybe you guys will be able to find it on the internet. But it was like... 
these two like I don't I saw it on Twitter it was like these two like fat guys I don't want to say fat guys they were like a little bit overweight uh they were playing golf and like one of them called the other a shithead or something and the dude like ran him down and like they were like fighting but they weren't throwing punches because they were like clearly friends but they're just like yelling at each other like little girls like these kids must have been like 15 years old and they're just like what like fuck off like just like in the middle of a, of a golf course he's just got the guy on the ground like pushing him like down and then they're like running from each other dude like i don't know what i was watching and it was super loud and obnoxious and it came through on my audio since i use obs to record so that's why like i, I uh I've, i like kind of faded it there also we had someone on our team who was brand new to the game i want to talk a little bit about this especially with gears of war 4 coming out there's going to be a lot of new players who have never played gears of war trying the game out now this person on our team, you'll see him, is the Marcus. Probably had no idea you could switch your character. Um, straight up just, like, never played the game before. Uh, just sitting up in spawn, just aiming the Lancer. And I know there's a lot of people out there that play Gears of War that would get frustrated with this kind of thing. Um, I used to get really mad about that, this kind of thing until I realized that it's just not worth it to get angry at people like that who are new to the game. Uh, that comes down to the matchmaking system. That comes down to, you know, them getting it right for Gears, Gears 4 and making it so that if you are a 10-year veteran like myself who've pl been playing the game since the damn game came out, uh, won't have to play with those players because it's unfair. Like, you gotta think about it. Like, I think it, I was streaming the other day. Oh, and this is where I dropped my controller and the batteries went flying everywhere. This was just a disaster. But, uh, after this, you guys are gonna see I'm gonna start going off. <coughs> the other day I was streaming and I was playing with Pete. And me and Pete have probably combined, like, 19 hours of, of Gears of War that we've played, uh, uh, 19 years of Gears since he's been playing it for, like, nine years and i've been playing it for like nine or ten years i don't know something like that but we've played gears a long freaking time right and uh we played against these two guys and brothers to the end who have never played the game before like literally brand new level ones sitting in spawn aiming lancer like single firing it revving chainsaw no idea how to even leave the spawn and it's unfair to those people that they have to go up against people like us who have played the game for so long. And what I want to tell you guys is if we want the Gears of War community overall to grow, we need to not flip out on these types of people. And now I, I've talked about this a few times before. And I can't stress it enough how important it is to not freak out on someone who is new to the game. Now I could have easily just went in and plug my mic in even though i don't have an xbox mic but that's beside the point and been like yo you suck or sent him a dirty text message and said yo you you're bad at this game never play it again but what does that do like look at him he's shooting at me because he thinks i'm on the other team he has no idea but like i'm just looking at him there you see that like what is that going to accomplish what is like he's not gonna immediately just become amazing at the game because you verbaled him or her it's just not gonna happen the only thing that's gonna come out of it is someone's gonna be like wow the people who play this game are fucking douchebags and i don't even want to put the time or effort into learning how to play the game because why would i do that when everyone is a douche you know so i just wanted to stress the point that if you guys come across these players which there are a lot of them quote unquote christmas noobs try to help them and if not help them at least don't be mean to them and, and try to push them away because that's not going to grow the community that's going to make the community uh deplete you know because if you see new players playing the game we should be happy because that means that the community is growing there's new players playing there's new people who are going to be learning about you know live streams and youtube videos and esl and all that stuff so we need to really try to help these guys and like if not help you know it's kind of hard to go out of your way and try to help someone that you don't know but you know at least just send them a little nice little message like yo good try or you know give them some words of encouragement i do that occasionally when i see a new player uh one example that i'll i'll talk about real quick before this video ends um, I think me and Pete were playing, uh, the doubles on the Nasher 2v2s, and, uh, this guy was getting 
killed by his own teammate because he was new over and over again and i think p me and p ended up sending them messages saying or sending the person a message saying you know don't worry about that guy like you know he's a douchebag this and that like just he, he was just team killing him in spawn because you know it's got the friendly fire on just because he was new to the game so yeah don't be that guy that rages at a new player just because they're new you know try to try to just deal with it and, and hope that they learn on their own uh anyways Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to drop the video a like. Um, I will be trying to stream later. It depends how I feel. Right now, I feel okay. You know, I had a pretty pounding headache earlier, but it's starting to go away now, and I, I feel a little bit productive. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you next time. Take care, everybody.